Hey, welcome to the broadcast, everyone. We're taking your phone calls at 1-800-684-3110. That's 800-684-3110. We're talking about Iran and Pastor Youssef Nardarkhani. What would you like to be telling the Iranian government right now? As the it is very clear that a death execution warrant has been issued. We will do, give you some breaking news in just a moment. But if you were to talk to the Ayatollah, that's who's handling this, what would you tell them? 1-800-684-3110. We're taking your calls. Jordan, we do have some new developments on the case. Let's get right to them. Sure. We were able to confirm as of yesterday uh, evening in Iran, uh, one of uh, those close to Pastor Nader Khani was able to uh, get into the prison and to see him, uh, that he was still alive. Now, that's yesterday in Iran, and now it's uh, already afternoon, evening in Iran, as we're talking now live on radio and uh, the way these execution orders works, we do believe an execution order has been issued by the trial court. This has already been appealed all the way through the Supreme Court. This started back in October of 2009. Uh, we got directly engaged of, in uh, September uh, 2010 when it was likely because he was found guilty and sentenced to death. And we raised the voices. We raised the voices of the world. Now, again, we've been asked to do the same thing. Well, what we've got right now, by the way, coming from multiple sources inside Iran, is that the execution warrant has been issued, and uh, it is back in the Galan province. So the Ayatollah is is put it back to the local government. Now, he can still issue a commutation of that sentence, but we're past the situation of simply U.S. action, which is important, but we've got to get international action. Again, folks, I want to hear from you. How do you feel about what Iran's doing here? Is this saber-rattling? Is this? Are they using the Pastor Nardar Khani situation— accusing him of apostasy, death by hanging, because they want to make a point to the world of that the Iranians are in control of their own fate and that they're not afraid of any international pressure. Our phone lines are open for you at 1-800-684-3110. Now, we have a House resolution. It is H.R. 556. It has been drafted by, uh, it's got Republican and Democratic co-sponsors. Let me quickly go over those co-sponsors with you. On the Republican side is John Carter from Texas, Democratic side, Keith Ellison um, from Minnesota, by the way, first Muslim in Congress. He is a co-sponsor. Trent Franks from Arizona. Uh, Jim McGovern, Democrat from Massachusetts. Frank Wolf, Republican from Virginia. Uh, our friend, Representative Heath Schuler, Democrat from North Carolina. So bipartisan support here. But we now, Jordan, have to take it outside of just the U.S. realm and move this to the U.N. We've got to get worldwide condemnation here in order to stop this. This is the only real avenue left. Absolutely right. We need to hear from everyone now. Call 877-989-2255. We need to put pressures on our own members of Congress. You need to sign up for our Tweet for Youssef program. That's online at aclj.org. Hundreds of new people have signed on to that, which is a lot uh, for a Twitter program. But thousands have called in, uh, sharing the stories, sharing the updates. I was on CBN News. I encourage you to share that as well. Uh, Jordan, talk News to people are- about what the Tweet for Youssef is. So people that don't know, so very quickly here, what can they actually do? Yep, every day we will send out a tweet uh, automatically if you sign up at aclj.org and a tweet will go out uh, with an update so that all the people that follow you, your friends, your family, colleagues, will see that and they can continue to pray for Pastor Youssef, not forget about Pastor Youssef. That's initially why we launched the campaign, uh, the Tweet for Youssef campaign. You donate a tweet. It's all absolutely free. You just go to aclj.org, and then you don't have to think about it again. It will automatically go out for you. We all use it, Dad, on our own Twitter account so people can see it there. They've seen it already. Yeah, we're reaching about 400,000 people a day through Twitter, so we want to encourage you to go to aclj.org. You can sign up uh, for the Tweet tweet a Day uh, right there on the website. If you want to talk to us on air, 1-800-684-3110. Everybody else, folks, we've got to get global pressure here. That's why we need you on this petition. Here's the number, 1-877-989-2255. This is a real threat. The execution order has been issued, 877-989-2255 or aclj.org. You can do that Twitter again at aclj.org or call us at 877-989-2255.